Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to episode 8 of Journal in January. We're building a journal to mark my story going to create last year the Anna Griffin event of a lifetime. And every day in January we're building a new page to go with photos and journaling. It's not a journal that you would write and plan your week or month, but it's a photo journal that plots the journey of my story. So I hope you're enjoying it so far and we're going to just keep going as we build it and then at the end we'll be able to review our pages, add anything that we need to add and look at how we created everything. I will put a detailed list on the blog of everything that I've used throughout the course of our journey. So today our photo, now yesterday we had the most, I would say, uninteresting and today it's kind of like it depends what you like. This is the plane that took us on the first leg of our journey to, uh, to New York and it's just a picture of a plane. However, this I think is one of the most important parts that we're coming up to of my journey. So this is a Virgin Atlantic plane at Manchester Airport. You can see the caterpillar, the tunnel leading onto the plane. We sat upstairs in the bubble and uh, not the first class section, I might add. And it was, you know, it was a good flight when we set off. So, and that's, we weren't delayed or anything. So that's our plane that's going to take us on the first part of our journey. Now I'm going to mat and layer it. And as you can see, the only preparation I've done for this page, because I've tried not to do a lot of prep for our journal. I've just added two flowers because there's only so much you can do with a photograph of a plane. So, however, the most important part of this page is going to be everything that we add to it. Now, I'm going to add it just at a slight angle, just as the tip of the photos at the bottom of the layer. And then I'm going to layer it again onto um, another contrasting colour of card. This is cardstock from the Anna Griffin Perfect Palette range and you know what? It's great for anything like this as well as your card making but if you're building any kind of journal anything that you need cardstock for. So that is our plane and um, we're going to tilt it that way I think then I've also got bits and pieces for this page so I'm going to figure out where to put everything because that's the whole part and parcel of building a great journaling page is your layout laying everything out taking time just to work out where you want everything to go because at the end of the day it's your story you're telling it how you want it to be told and I'm thinking something like that and a little bit of washi tape would be great for that page now before we stick everything down we're gonna go with this page because this I think is quite, you know, it's one of those pages that you're going to think, oh, that's that's quite clever after the thought. So these are my boarding passes for me and my husband. And this is the boarding passes for the Manchester to New York flight. And all I've done is photocopied them on just onto copier paper. I've got double-sided tape at the top and I'm simply going to add them just to this page now very simple and as you go on any journey or trip you can keep lots and lots of things that you get along the way receipts things like that and that's what I've done when I went to create so all that page needs now is a little bit of washi tape and I'm going to use two lots of washi tape one is the airmail 
washi tape that you can get and the second one is the washi tape that we just used on the previous page so just a little section of that and you notice I'm cutting it rather than tearing it so I'll just add that one to the top of that boarding pass and there they are two great mementos of our journey so now I can build up the second page with the photo on so I roughly know where everything's going to go and I'm going to add the photos through the centre of the page like we've just laid it all out and if I pop those about there I would say and then I've got my tag that I've wrote up and it says first flight of the day to JFK New York and I'm going to add that I would say we'll pop that towards the bottom like that and then we use some Heidi Swap stamps previously to stamp a plane and I've used some of the other ones on the same sheet and it says important, there's the plane, special events, I've filled it in, it says create for, save the date and I've put the date the 14th of 11th, 18. Because at this side of the pond we write our dates that way. Day, month, year. Just saying. Okay, so we'll pop that, I think at that side like that and then I've just got two little embellishments one says remember which how can I possibly forget so I'll pop that at the top and then I've got a little arrow again we're going to point that towards the plane I've got double sided tape on the back of them and these were all from the same set of stamps and then I'm just going to take my washi tape again the airmail washi tape and I'm just going to cut myself two pieces for adding to the photo and we'll go one there so we'll add that across that side and then we'll add another piece just to the bottom in fact we could push the boat out and just add a third piece to that side there and make it look like we've taped the photo down. And that is our page finished for this section of our journal for this page, page six. Now tomorrow we've got another photo with other bits and pieces that we're going to use and I think this now we're building up a great journal that's telling a story of my adventures and getting there etc and with all the knickknacks and different things that we've got and it's coming together nicely. Um, don't worry about the page numbers we're going to cover that at the end so don't be you know I, I was thinking we were going to do them as we went but that's one of the things we're going to review when we get to the end so I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching please tune in again tomorrow for the next page of our journey thank you for watching and I shall see you then